Birthday burrito, down the hatch, baby. Let's go. Like, comment, share, subscribe, fam. We're not doing a tray ski today. Oh, yeah. So we finally, 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 now that they're open, look at that rolled up with all that good, good. Can you guys see that? We finally made it over to this new spot on 295 Armistice Boulevard in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Fiesta Tex-Mex. So they seem to be, you know, kind of like a Bajas or I've never been to the other place called Calientes. But, you know, the spot that just has everything for when you're ready for a big lunch. But if someone doesn't want Mexican food, you know, they typically have like subs and wraps and cheesesteaks and bomb stir fry. Uh, they just got a bunch of stuff just in case someone doesn't want a uh, situation bill. Thank you, everybody, for the birthday love. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Join us on YouTube memberships. Brisket is joining us. We're on the way to the park. I said, Brisket, do you mind if I grab a little uh, little birthday burrito? He said, Dad, do it. You deserve it. It's the type of, uh, it's the type of love we, we like around here. All right, we're just going to peel this bad boy open. See us in the club. We'll be over. Ooh, it is piping hot, son. It is piping hot. Birthday burrito. Can we do it all? We don't have... Oh, we have a little leakage. Hold on. We got a little leakage. Please hold. Let's get the salsa out of there. All right. That's a big boy right here. Woo! And it's, it's a hot boy. It's a hot boy. I want a hot boy. All right. Here we go, fam. Birthday burrito time. <laughs> oh, we just dropped some, uh, some salsita. That is that takes up the whole screen. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's eat it now. All right. Thank you guys, everybody. Honestly, it's been a crazy year. Cheers. Mmm. Beans, rice. A little bit of sour cream, corn salsa, steak. Pico de gallo, salsita. I'll be honest with you, I'm predicting a nap. <clears throat> I am predicting a nap. So fam, I want this to be an interactive video today. I want you to comment down below some life lessons. I'm always the one giving life lessons. I would like to hear from you guys. What is something that you would tell yourself 10 years ago? <clears throat> that in... 10 years you wish you would have told yourself today. You see where I'm going with this? A little bit of, little bit of steak for that. And please, comment while watching this. Mm. Mm. One thing that I would have told myself 10 years ago <clears throat> was believe in the power of manifestation. I would have told myself that. I would have said, hey, Luke, manifestation nation, go be a citizen, bro. I'm tearing this burrito up. <clears throat> I would have told myself 
everything's going to work out. Don't be so hard on yourself. I think because everything, the way that society is, everyone is so freaking comparing themselves to everybody where you are in life. How much money you should have in the bank. But then you think, I want you to think about this for a second. <clears throat> the person that has triple of you is also thinking the same thing about someone who has triple than them. So, it's a vicious cycle. And you're, <clears throat> you're being way too hard on yourself. Just work hard. Be a good person. Walk this world with intention. Ooh. And go to therapy. And a therapy session from 10 years ago, five years ago, doesn't count today. Because we're constantly evolving. We're constantly changing. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. A little extra. I think I have a piece of steak stuck in my throat right now. Please hold. Don't buy that meal. I'm getting tired of them doing that. <clears throat> I have something stuck. <clears throat> okay, we can breathe. Go to therapy. There are so many hurt little boys and girls, and I'm talking about adults. There are so there they are <clears throat> so many hurt little boys and girls inside of all of us. Go to therapy, work it out. Learn to not be so steadfast, like, learn to not be so stubborn. Someone else's opinion isn't a biased opinion. <clears throat> you can't live your life thinking, oh, someone else's opinion is a biased opinion. What the heck? Learn inside. <clears throat> Learn to look at yourself objectively. And spread love. I'm so excited to see what you guys have to write. And honestly, I really, as my birthday present, I want you guys to write things that you would have said. I forgot that they gave me. They only gave me one line, though. I wish they would have hooked me up, but <clears throat> it's my fault. Would have put a little more salsa in here, too. Mm. But at the same time, extremely thankful and humbled that I'm able to buy food. So, all right, is the last piece, buddy. Let me get that rice off there. I don't see any seasoning on this piece. So you're good to go. You don't want it? Come on. Playing hard to get. <clears throat> but honestly, I want to hear from you guys. So even if you're, uh, <clears throat> some people call themselves lurkers. Even if you're a lurker, do me a favor. As a birthday present to me, it costs you zero ninety nine. Give this video a thumbs up. <clears throat> Comment down below. Mm-mm-mm. Done the hatch.
I think I'm definitely gonna take a nap after this. One last bite. <clears throat> Mm, 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 mm. <gasps> That's not as bad as it could have been. Hold on, fam. We gotta clean up on aisle roadie. It's so, <coughs> my runs, my nose is running. I, that, that hot salsa has got a little kick. He basically said, hey, we have mild, hot, really hot, and really, really hot. I said, fam, <coughs> burn me up so I can feel something. But it's got good flavor. So yeah, fam. Just basically comment down below. It's crazy that even on my birthday, I'm still working. I have two meetings to go to today. And that's only because I'm having so many freaking opportunities come my way. It's so weird, man. When you manifest this... Guys, <clears throat> when you manifest... I know Brisk is manifesting some more food right now we'll get some at the house okay when you're manifesting man i get it it's like a it's like a really weird concept to think about right you're like what, what what's this uh what's this huffy puffy stuff about or some people they manifest but they don't like follow through with it they just hey baby they don't follow through with it <clears throat> i'm dying over here um they don't follow through with it so then they believe, oh, it, do it doesn't exist. It, this doesn't work. It's a continuous thing. You can't just let it go. So the stuff that's happening right now, I've manifested this. And it's crazy. And I work for it, though, too. And it's crazy how, like, this past few, like, these past couple weeks, I've had to say no to things more than I could say yes to things. And I'm very humble that I, I'm in that and that I'm in that space to do so, and I'm able to choose projects. And it's 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 so just a wild place to be in right now because again, I came from absolutely nothing, and I am such a simple, minimalist, uh, humble kid that the fact that I'm even in certain conversations is insane. So I'm excited to see how all these this whole puzzle comes together and uh, manifestation works guys please read up on it please practice it um, you know it requires work too though don't think it's like gonna just blah. but it's like you've ever what's the thing what's a good I try to give analogies it's like when something bad happens we'll, 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 we'll use a common thing something bad happens you have to have a certain mindset where you go, all right, it's not going to, this too shall pass. I am not going to let this dictate my life, dictate my day, dictate my, my, my energy. You just go, all right, we'll just roll with the punches. When I had my event the other day, I was running late. I stopped by Staples to get some printed stuff. I locked my keys in the car. Did I tell you guys this story? Hold on. Oh, it's really bright. I can't do this, but I love you guys. I do want to see your eyeballs. I locked my keys in the car. I'm calling everyone. Hey, I'm going to be late. I'm sorry. They're like, dude, vendors are already uh, setting up. I'm like, it's all going to work out. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And guess what? I say those magic words. I'm so lucky. Everything's always going to work out for me. I know, baby. Everything's going to work out for you. I got a treat for you at home, sir. So, <clears throat> I'm walking around. 
and you know I don't have AAA because I never resigned, which I should resign. Um, I'm looking in the car. I don't see the keys. I go inside the Staples. I anybody drop off any keys? No, nobody, nothing. So I go okay. So I pull the trigger on getting someone to come help me, and I'm I'm. I think 10 years ago, Lupe would have been so stressed and been like, well, why does this always happen to me? Right? Where it's, that's very easy for us all to do that. It's a, it's a knee-jerk reaction. Oh, of course, right? We all say that. Of course that would happen to me. Of course that would happen today. But no, I didn't let it affect me. I went, I was just like, all right, it's going to, uh, it's, it's all going, what? It's all going to work out. It's all going to work out. So um, we're, we're leaving, baby. So guess what? I go inside. I left them on a table. I left them on a table. It's all going to work out. Okay, we're going. All right, we got to go, guys. Sorry. It's I guess it's not my birthday. It's, it's Brisket's birthday. You want to go? Then we'll go. All right, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Please don't forget to go ahead and comment down below. A little extra birthday love, a little birthday burrito vid. I love it. All right, join us on YouTube memberships. And until next time, be well, eat well, and take care of each other. Cheers.